Hey everyone, Katherine King here and ready for another haul. So, oh, what did I haul? I haven't been doing as many hauls and so it's like, I, I lose track of what I call things anymore. Okay, so I haven't hauled from Ava's Country Cupboard in quite some time, but our dear friend, Miss Angela, just did um, her... Was it a single vendor? She did Ava's and I was like, I haven't checked out Ava's in a while. So I'm gonna check it out. And, and there were happened to be quite a few things. She had some stuff on sale. So I got a couple things at 20% off that was part of like winter stuff. Um, she does send the list. And then I got some other stuff. So let's go through. Um, let's see, which ones did I get winter? Um, yeah. Okay. So one thing I got winter, um, in on the 20% was winter wishes. I do like the bakery bags. I know some people do, some people don't. Um, it is kind of fun being able to see, you know, see inside the different shapes and that kind of stuff. So that's what it looks like. They're just a bunch of these shapes. So this is supposed to be sweet marshmallows, candy apples, and a hint of peppermint. So I just took a sniff, and what I'm smelling, I, I really don't smell peppermint, but it doesn't mean it's not going to come out on warm. I am smelling a definite candy apple. So it's not like, I don't think it's like a Mac apple. Yeah, this is more of a candied apple. It's really good. It's it's a little different. I will admit it is a little different, the mix of the candy apple with that hint of peppermint. I'm excited to warm it. It was poured the end of December. So um, I, I keep my list here because I always reference it. Um, I Oh, I don't have Ava's. I was thinking I had Ava's down as one of my weeks, but it does not look like I do. So that means I will have plenty of time to let it cure. Okay, key lime pie. We, oh yeah, we're gonna have to go out of order. Key lime pie, you knew I had to order key lime pie. And gosh, who was it? Um, was it Vivian? It was either Vivian or Jen um, made sure that I knew that she had poured a key lime pie. That's really good. This is not a, uh, this is a bakery key lime pie. This is definitely not a, a strong like lime key lime pie. And I know some people like um, differences. I love lime. So for me, having that nose piercing lime is A-OK -okay with me because I like it. This smells more smooth. If this is a smooth key lime pie, not a strong pungent key lime pie. Let's put it that way. Okay, the other one I got on sale were, was baked apple pralines, and they were just these cute little snowflakes. So we'll look at this one. Okay, so I'm not sure I smell praline per se, but if I even really know what that smells like, but I definitely smell a baked apple. And I love a good baked apple. Could it use a pie crust note? I think so, but that's just me. I like, or cider. I like apple ciders or baked, you know, baked apple, that kind of stuff. All right, I thought I'd give this one a try. I am trying to branch out because you know, I'm not real keen on strawberry, but I'm trying. This is strawberry pound cake cookie dough. So I thought, all right, well, I am going to try um, maybe a, a strawberry pound cake mixed with something else. And actually this is, this is nice. This is, I like this. It doesn't seem too sweet. That's my biggest frustration with strawberry is it's really sweet. Um, almost sickening sweet. And that's why I'm usually less keen on strawberry. I like something that is a bit richer, deeper, and I like citrus. I really like citruses. So I think that might be one of the reasons why I struggle a bit with strawberries because of how sweet it really is. Okay. Sugar cookie zucchini. Mm, okay. This is a 
this is a really good mix of that sugar cookie with the zucchini. This is not creamy zucchini. I don't think it's corn chippy, but I like all zucchini, so I'm, I'm really not that picky. But this isn't like a creamy zucchini. This is more like a spicy zucchini mixed with a really good sugar cookie. So I like that. Um, next one, lemon sugar cookies. I really liked this shape, so I got a few things in this shape. Lemon sugar cookies, and I just ordered a lemon sugar cookie from someone else too. Oh, I just love a good lemon sugar cookie. And this is good. This is a nice strong lemon. That is nice. I love it. And then I ordered blueberry lemon cake. I like it how she has the two different colors. Blueberry. I can definitely smell the blueberry in this, guys. This is a nice mix of the blueberry and the lemon. I really like a mix of blueberry and lemon. Mm, that's really good. <clears throat> Gosh. All right. And then coffee house treats. I've been curious about this. So in my spreadsheet, I usually have a column within the vendor that says want, add, you know, something. And Coffee House Treats has been on, on that for quite some time. So. It's not strong. I don't know. Um, yeah, it doesn't say what exactly is in Coffee House Treats. It smells really good, but I'm, I'm thinking there is a obviously a bakery component and a coffee component. But I'm not exactly sure what it is. It is a nice scent. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, it was just poured 2 22, 22. I, I'm a numbers girl. And you know, my anniversary is 0 2020, which is my mama's birthday. All right. So that's what I ordered. Let's go ahead and go through the samples she sent me. Strawberry French toast. It has like a sweet, not necessarily maple, but kind of like a, you know, a French toasty kind of scent to it. Obviously it's French toast. Uh, and I can smell the strawberry, but it's not overpowering. So that I like that. And what I've been doing when I've been getting samples, I'm just sore today. Um, I haven't been keeping them so much here as taking them to work because I find that they just sit here and I want to be able to melt them and I melt my samples a lot at work. So I've just been taking my samples to work. So I'm hoping to get a couple of these melted before I'm out for a week. All right. Rainbow cotton candy. I'm not exactly sure what the rainbow part um, cause it's not like it's a sherbet. Uh, it's, there's definitely no like rainbow sherbet scent. Maybe it's just kind of a mix of like a, a berry cotton candy. It's really good. Next one, <sighs> cucumber and aloe. Oh, this might end up in my bathroom. Oh, um, <clears throat> no, no. I know I'm really bad about that, huh? It's it's fine if you like a fresh scent. I just don't particularly care for fresh. So I'll cut it up and I'll put it in my bathroom and I'll give you guys a warm review. Oh, sorry, French Toast Bake Shop. I'm not huge on, um, what is it, Old Town Bake Shop or one of them I'm not real keen on. But this has, I it's to me it smells like the fr same French toast that's in this one. You know, maybe they seem different. They do seem a little different. It might be because this is mixed with strawberry and this is mixed with Bake Shop. And look at this shape. Isn't that just so cute? Pretty flower. Looks like a, what, a dahlia? I like it. I like it. I think it's nice. 
So the, actually the only sample I didn't like was really this one. So yeah, I think it's a great order. Um, I'm excited to get to, to melting. I'm going to probably have to wait until after I'm done with the collab because I have already set out the different vendors that I am doing each week. Yeah, they're pretty set in, in what they're going to be. So, um, yeah, so I'll probably have to wait until uh, May, but you never know. We might enjoy hanging out and spending time as a collab that we may continue, you know, offering up, you know, scent weeks. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Thank you for reviewing Ava's Country Covered with me, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.